here in the Beko Kitchen. It is soup week. We continue today, and miso hungry. So what are you going to make me? Well, we're going to make a miso soup. So this is Japanese-inspired soup, so really light, Yum. fresh flavours, but it's in two parts. So we're right. going to make a dashi first. A dashi. And that's, uh, that's basically the basis of, uh, of, of a lot of Japanese cookery. Okay, And cool. then we're going to turn that into the soup. So it's really quick. I'm going to show you those processes a little bit later. Righty, yeah. Okay, well, I'm looking forward to this quite like my miso soup. So we'll come back to the kitchen very soon, get this underway. Great to have you with us. We are here in the Beko Kitchen for a week of soup recipes. Perfect for lunch on a cold day. Perfect for dinner, actually, too. And this morning, Mark, we've got miso, and we're going to make it pretty much from scratch, aren't we? Yeah, so it's, it's a really simple soup. Um, Japanese soups are nice, fresh. You know, you can get it at all the sushi shops, um, but yes. it's really easy to do at home, so you can do this. And a good tip for you now is, um, if you so we're going to make a dashi, which is the base of it, and then okay. from a dashi, you can make lots of different um, sauces and soups and, and, and different Japanese recipes. So it's a good idea, if you make it, make a large quantity. Okay. And then you can keep it in the fridge for about a week or so, or if you can put it in little bags, pop it in the freezer, and you can just pull it out, and then it's even faster. Yeah, no, I do like a good miso, and this is good to make it from scratch because you get all the nutritional benefits when you're making it this way. You've been Googling again. I've been Googling <laughs> again. Um, anyway, so, what's right, so what do you got going first? Right, so we're going to start off with the uh, dashi. Yes. So what you need to do is this. So this is kombu. So kombu. this is like dried seaweed. Right. right so you're going to get lots and lots of flavour, lots of umami flavour. Mm hmm uh, from this, so you want to put it in, a, uh, in, measure your water out. Yes. Pop it in cold water. No, that's not cold water. Yeah. So let it in cold water and then slowly bring it up to the boil and then ah, just simmer it for a couple of minutes. Okay, cool. And then you can see, so if you just have a look at this now. What it turns into. So this has just been slowly, slowly coming up, so it's, you know, you've got a slight tinge on the water. Mm -hmm. But if you smell that, you can smell all those flavours and if you taste that water, it's got, it's got so much flavour. You know, it's a little bit, tastes like the sea, mm. doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. But, I mean, it's not too salty. But you see, it sort of comes out. So you do that, let it cool down slightly, uh, and then you get all those flavours in there. So that's where we're at now. So we're just, we're just going to pull it off the heat slightly. And then we've got these bonito flakes. So that's like skipjack tuna, isn't it? Dried <laughs> skipjack tuna. It is, it is. Mm. So it's shaved really thin, so heaps of flavour in there. So smell that, it's really smoky as well. Yeah, lots yeah. Of, lots smell of it from over there. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes better than it smells, if you're worried about that. So what you want to do now is pop it in. So it seems quite a lot, but you want this, so it's heaps of flavour. And then you want to slowly bring Ooh, this up. Yeah, I can smell Slowly that. bring yeah. it up again, and just simmer it for a couple of minutes, and then just let it cool, and then you strain it, and you'll have all these flavours into this soup. Right. It's right. quite interesting, actually, because when you get miso, when you get your old sushi, you know, you, just, you don't really think about it, but watching it being made, essentially, it's, it's seaweed and dried fish, isn't it? No, no, but it's, it's amazing how much flavour you get in That's that. Right. And, and this is the base. So this is this is what the Japanese use as stocks. Right. Okay, so they don't, they won't make any chicken stocks or beef stocks or anything. They'll and make what did this. you call this? A, da, da, a dashi. A dashi. Right, okay, cool. Right, so it's, it's That's just like me on. when I'm in to get my sushi. <laughs> I'm, a dub, I'm doing a dashi <laughs> in there, out there. Anyway, sorry. Why is the professional comedian shaking his head in the background? I, know. <laughs> I don't know what's happening to me today. I'm getting ready for the comedy fest. The gala's on tonight. I'm all excited. Okay. Right, so, so, it's a, if you've got a bit more time, just let it cool down and then all the Ebonito flakes will sink to yes. the bottom. And then what you do is just strain it off. Yep. So you've extracted all the flavour out of there, mm -hmm. so strain it off, and then you're just left with this beautiful clear liquid with heaps of flavour. So I can really smell that. Oh, oh, you're going oh in there. sorry. What are you doing? And we're going to pop oh, that back in there. I'm dripping everywhere now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Nice. Good smells. So, Good so this is a stage what you can do ahead of time. You know, make lots of it, put it in the freezer, and then now we're going to um, make our miso soup. Right. So we've got some miso plate paste. So yes. you've got a, a white miso paste and a red miso paste, mm -hmm. and this is like bean curd, sort of fermented bean curd. So if you take it, it smell mm. it, it's heaps of flavour in there, it's heaps of salt in there as well and seasoning. So just going to put a little bit in there. So what are they? Soybeans? Fermented soybeans? Yeah. Okay. And then you just want to just whisk it in, just dissolve it all and it will go cloudy. So you know when you've got a miso soup and you, you know, it's sort of, you agitate it and it's already cloudy, but then you let it sit for a minute or so and it just goes clear. Separates, it separates, yes. yeah, it separates back. So it's quite, a, it's quite a fun sort of like little thing, especially for the kids. They love, they love seeing that. So we're just going to uh, put the miso in there and just yep. put enough in to taste, mm -hmm. bring it up to the bowl, and then we've got lots of ingredients here, which we're, so we're going to finish the soup, and you can see how, how fast it is. Yeah, nice. It smells incredible too. Now though, we are back in the Beko kitchen, we are finishing off this miso, looking good, smelling incredible. I like, can I try a bit? Yeah, so yeah. you just taste it, so taste it at this stage now. If you want to put some more miso in it or more dashi, you know, just balance it yeah. out to your okay, personal cool. preference. But we've got that flavour in there, it's, beautiful. it's still nice and light. So all we need to do now is just put some ingredients in there. So 
We've got some dried shiitake mushrooms, mm -hmm. so you can use fresh ones if you want, right. but the dried one's quite a good idea because you can pop them in and it will release some of those flavours as they go soft. It will right. rehydrate into the soup and you'll get this that beautiful sort of underlying mushroom mm. flavour in there as well. Nice. Got a little bit of chilli, you know, optional. If you want to yes. put it in, you can put it in. And just sort of just slice it up, just nice and fine. That just goes in. And it really is just super simple and tasty. We've got some spring onions. Nice. So always remember the spring onions. You know, chop them nice and fine, a little bit of an angle, and you want to pop this in sort of at very last minute, you okay, know? Okay, cool. So you don't want to boil them up, so No, to speak. you don't want to boil them. You don't, you, they want to be nice and green um, and still have a little bit of texture on there. Nice. And you've got some bok choy as well, yep. so a little baby bok choy, so take that off. Um, obviously, just make sure you wash it. <laughs> which will ah. pretend. It's all right, it's only... Yeah, it's fine. It's only mel. Mel it. Gives it that nice earthy <laughs> taste, doesn't it, Mark? <laughs> So pop a little bit of that in, and you just, it's the same again, you know, you just want to wilt that in. Okay, so don't leave it too in long. First. Yeah, so, yeah, they won't take long. And then we've got some tofu as well. Brilliant. So just make sure when you do, uh, if you're going to put tofu in a soup, make sure it's a firm tofu. Because mm -hmm. you don't want it to sort of go in the soup and then it warms up and then it just sort of like just you know, disintegrates. disintegrates yeah. yeah. So just some nice cubes. And literally, you know, when it's warm, serve it. Okay, you know? cool. So we'll pop those in there. And some noodles as well, and you can get these. Uh, these are udon noodles, so yeah. these are Japanese noodles. So these are already made and blanched, and and just come in packets in the supermarket. So you can literally just you know just separate them with your hands, or run them under cold water just to really separate them, and then just pop them in. And again, you're just warming it up. So you've got some vegetables, you've got some noodles, a little bit of chilli for a kick. Yeah, that's it. You know, you've, you've got a whole meal in there, you know, you've got lots of different texture in there. And if you made your Pop base, spring onions. I guess you can just sample it up every time you go to make it, can't you? Just chop oh. it and change it. Oh, that's it. Love Definitely, it. you know. That all goes in there. And, you know, you can you can add lots of different flavours in there. Yes. So you can add more soys in there, you know, different vegetables there. What's and the one thing Jesse Aberista does not eat? Um, coriander. Always <laughs> looking at me now. <laughs> <laughs> so this is optional. <laughs> so this is optional. But well, actually, do you like the stalk of coriander? Because it tastes different. No. Okay. No, it doesn't. <laughs> so it's a good idea now, as you as you're warming everything up. If you yep. can, you finally chop the stalk. You can put the stalk in there. It gives you an ex extra, extra flavour. Yeah. If you're going to put the leaves in, very very last minute, or okay, serve cool. it in the bowl and just and pop it sprinkle on top. the leaves yeah, on the that's top. That's it. But we'll leave it. We'll serve some of Jesse first. Yeah, true. Then, oh, then. geez, you're good to him, aren't oh, you? Know, he does. Know. He looks after us. He makes the coffee. Yeah, that's right. So we'll make him some. So this is going to be delicious, and of course the recipe is on our website at thecafe.co.nz. The soup's looking really good, Mark. Uh, Thanks. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Look good.